Our next presenter is an international star overseas or here at home. Her work on behalf of 24 different charities has made a real difference in the lives of others. Here to speak on behalf of To Write Love on Her Arms, one of the organizations she's involved with, is Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Depression, addiction, self-injury, suicide. For those struggling with personal demons and who can't cope, those four words are far too often the final chapter in a long, sad story. For those who have lost hope as they spiral down, the hardest part is finding the inspiration, the desire, or the helping hand to enable them to turn their lives around. Tonight, we focus on one organization whose mission is to provide the encouragement and the bridge to recovery that our troubled brothers and sisters so desperately need. Their motto encapsulates the hope for this charity. The motto is the best days are ahead of us. The foundation is called To Write Love on Our Arms. Brittany was my best friend. A lot of the pain stemmed from not knowing where she belonged, not knowing how people cared about her. She started trying to find things to numb some of the feelings that she had. When she told me that she wanted to die, I didn't know what to do. Grayson was our firstborn child. In fourth grade, she started to show signs of obsessive compulsive disorder. In sixth grade, she started to do self-injury. We would, you know, ask Grayson when we would have therapy sessions on occasion, would you ever consider taking your life? And she always said no. And I believed her. I believed her. It would take a lot of energy for me to portray this other self. Because I was so good at putting up that mask, I wasn't able to really let anybody in. I would think about jumping in front of a car on the way to school and making it look like an accident. Yeah, I remember actually asking my teacher in grade four, if I killed myself, would I go to heaven or hell? When she died, I initially thought like we lost this, like, like I lost this. Um, I just thought like this can't be happening, like this can't be real. You know, it just, just, it was something you just don't ever want to believe. It could happen to somebody you love so much. Somebody you brought into this world. They're not supposed to leave before you. Try love on her arms instilled in me that we can help somebody else who's having a hard time and doesn't know exactly how to deal with it. And to let them know, each person, that their story is important too. To Write Love's focus on hope for a better tomorrow, belief in yourself, that's what drew me to the organization, that's what connected with me. They're a bridge for people. They wanted to help me get the help I needed. I had the courage to face each day because of to write love on her arms. You were created to love and to be loved. To know and be known. And be known. Your story. Your story is important. Is important. Is important. And you need to know. You need to know. You need to know that your life matters. Your life matters. Please welcome the founder and my friend, to write love in our arms, Jamie Torkowski. What a night. I want to start by thanking Chase. 
uh, not just for the money, but also for giving us this incredible stage. It's a privilege to be able to talk about things that people tend not to talk about. So I'm up here on behalf of everyone in this room, everyone watching at home, who knows what it is to struggle with depression, with drug addiction, with self-injury. I'm up here on behalf of families that know the pain of losing a loved one to suicide, and soldiers that come home from war, and now they're fighting to truly be home. To everyone who knows the weight of life's biggest questions, to everyone who feels haunted or stuck in a moment, this moment is for you as well. It's easy to buy the lie that, that says we're alone, that says we can't talk about these things. The reality is that people need other people, and it's okay to be honest. We all struggle from time to time. We all need help sometimes. So to everyone in this room, to everyone at home, it's our belief that you're living a story, and it's our belief that your story is sacred, and it's priceless, and it's entirely unique, and no one else can play your part. It's our hope that you will never, ever give up. Thank you.